Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to talk about Galaxy in Turmoil. And if you don't know what Galaxy in Turmoil is, it originally uh, was a fan-made game that was trying to recreate the cancelled Star Wars Battlefront 3. So, you know, the original old Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 that everybody loves. There was originally going to be a Star Wars Battlefront 3. That got cancelled, so you had a bunch of people coming in and trying to make a fan-made game that was recreating uh, Star Wars Battlefront 3. And that eventually obviously got shut down because you can't just, you know... Star Wars is such a big franchise, they're not going to just let people do that, especially when they're trying to make Star Wars Battlefront 2 and stuff, and that would hurt their sales. So they're like, you know what, screw it, we're going to make our own IP, we're going to make Galaxy in Turmoil. And so they've been working for years, and they just recently released a demo on Steam and a Kickstarter page. And uh, one thing that's interesting to note, I was kind of looking through the FAQ, and apparently a lot of the original people that were working on the fan-made you know, game are no longer even working on this. So a lot of the people working on this aren't even the same. So they're trying to get $500,000 in 30 days. Uh, and so far as recording this video, there's $2,441 uh, raised. And $500,000 is a lot of money, but for something like this that a lot of people really love the Star Wars Battlefront games and, you know, a lot of people were disappointed by the modern ones. I know Star Wars Battlefront 2, the, the modern one, uh, is doing a lot better now, you know, after a lot of updates. But a lot of people, this could be something a lot of people were looking for. I had had it on my Steam wish list for about a year, um, you know, just wanting to keep up with it and see if it was something I was interested in. So when I found out all about this, I was really excited. I downloaded the demo, uh, you know, I signed it to my account um, and I was really excited to play. Now the first thing that happened though is you know the game crashed a couple times and you know that's no big deal it was only like a minute or two you know it's a very rough demo that's fair. Uh, so I finally you know press quick play uh, and it puts me in a game by myself. There's nobody else in there. So I'm like, okay, you know, people will start joining. This might be a newly made game. Wait about a minute or two, nobody joins. I'm like, okay, I guess that's that's what's happening. I leave the game, I then go to the server browser, and all of the servers have like one player or zero players, except this one server in Germany. And so I'm like, okay, screw it. I can, you know, play it with lag. I just want to experience the game. I join it, and it is only a spaceship, you know, kind of bad. There's a couple parts where there are some, you know, infantry places, uh, but I just wanted to play the infantry game, and on top of that, um, the space combat was very, very rough around the edges, um, and I wasn't a very big fan of it, so I'm like, okay, you know, screw it, I, you know, kind of go do something else for, you know, a couple minutes, I come back, and I get in this game that is, I think it was 2v2 at first, and then it ended up having, like, six players in it. Uh, and just team deathmatch so I got to play around with the different classes and the guns and um, just kind of experience that and it is very rough around the edges uh, but it was, I mean, uh, decently enjoyable, but the thing is, is it was still just, oh, well, I'm looking for these three people, and the, there's actually a mini-map, and it shows you exactly where everybody is, and exactly what direction they're facing, so, you know, we use that to all just kind of constantly keep killing each other, uh, because otherwise the map is gigantic, and it's not meant for six players, and overall... I I think it is a really, really bad mistake for them to put out the demo the way they did. And, you know, I applaud them because, you know, obviously putting up a $500,000 Kickstarter um, from a studio nobody knows at all, um, you're going to have, you're going to be a little skeptical, um, especially since the game is free to, it, it will be free to play. There will be no uh, pay to win stuff. It's just going to be, uh, you know, cosmetics and stuff. But for a Kickstarter like that to raise $500,000, you have to wow people. People because why would people back your Kickstarter when they can just wait, you know, three, four years and if the game ends up coming out, uh, they can play it for free, you know, and so it's not so like something like Temtem uh, where the game's going to cost money and... You know, so you want to back it to get early in the private, you know, stuff. And there's a $25 tier uh, that if you back $25, you do get access to the private, you know, beta or whatever, whenever that happens. And then a lot of them are just kind of like, oh, get exclusive pistol cosmetic skins and stuff like that. But none of them are the actual game. And I think that is a detriment. You know, I think this game, if it is going to be successful, it does need to be free to play. So they're doing good in that regard. It's just, I don't see the Kickstarter happening, especially when... 
The demo cannot wow anyone. Nobody can really play the game the way it's supposed to be played with these 64, you know, huge matches. Uh, and that is why I think it is an extreme detriment to not have bots in the demo. And, uh, you know, bots are actually, you know, because they have their stretch goals, you know, they're like, oh, you know, if we pass $500,000 and we keep making money, what are stretch goals? And at $1.4 million, um, they have this special game mode and then bots. So all the stretch goals are just like, hey, if we get to this, then before the game comes out, um, or, you know, for the launch of the game, these are the features that will be added that normally wouldn't. And bots is one of them at $1.4 million. And if you played the original Star Wars Battlefront games, that was a pretty big part of it because there were all these, I mean, a huge amount of bots and, uh, you know, you would were just a player among all the bots. And, uh, you know, obviously with modern gaming, you don't need those bots because all of those bots could potentially be players and, you know, because they have servers and infrastructure and technology's gone a long way, it's really easy to have all of the players in like a Star Wars Battlefront 1 match be players. The problem is, is when you are a nobody studio, uh, and especially you put out a demo with the intention of wowing people to back your Kickstarter, if people can't actually even play the game the way it's supposed to be played, nobody's gonna back the Kickstarter, because I have been someone that has been extremely hyped for this game, probably about a year. I mean, hype is probably a strong word. I've just had it wish-listed for a year, and, you know, I checked on it every now and then to see if there's any new news, and so I was extremely excited, and it took about 15 to 20 minutes to already just get bored of the game, because playing 3v3s or 2v2s and even barely being able to find those type of games uh, is not very enjoyable. So I think it is an extreme mistake of them to not prioritize bots uh, in this demo version. And I do understand this demo version is just, you know, years of work of just people volunteering their time. You know, none of these people were paid, um, you know, to, to do this. And, you know, now that's why they're trying to get the $500,000 to actually be able to, you know, make the game, polish it, finish it up, uh, hire some other people and stuff like that. And so I understand that. I just... I don't see the Kickstarter even succeeding, especially with a demo that does not wow anyone, because how could you be wowed by a game that, you know, is rough around the edges, which is fair, you know, it, it that's understandable. But when you can't even play the game that you're going to be backing, you know, it's, it's a little hard because... I don't know. I just, I think bots needed to have been prioritized way more. Other than that, I mean, the gameplay was interesting. You know, it was kind of like Star Wars Battlefront 1 or 2. Very, very rough around the edges. Um, and so... I kinda, it, it's it's something that was just like, okay, I do know they have a framework for what they're doing, so this $500,000 I know isn't just gonna go out to nowhere. So it does give me a little bit of confidence um, in you know backing this Kickstarter, but I feel like most people are just going to play it and be like, wow, this sucks because I can't even play the game and just forget about it. Not only you know not play it if it comes out in the future, but definitely not back to the Kickstarter. And so I really, really think they need to rethink bots, um, especially because say this game does come out and you know a lot of multiplayer games that are especially trying to be huge multiplayer games if they don't get an audience the game dies because you know you need a ton of players for a game like this to work and so i think bots are way more important than they thought it was um especially for this demo but overall i'm going to you know keep watching galaxy and turmoil hopefully you know the kickstarter passes and it gets made into an amazing game um you know obviously want to wish the best I just unfortunately don't see it happening with the way that the demo works right now because nobody's getting wowed enough to, you know, play the beta. But overall, I'd recommend you guys try it if you can actually find a game. I think the game's only like 7 gigabyte download on Steam uh, for the demo. You do have to create an account on their website. You can't even do it in the game. You have to go to their website and then log in. Um, so it's another annoying thing that I'm sure is preventing a ton of people from playing the game. Um, but overall, you know, I... I wanted to talk about it, I wanted to give it a chance, and I think it's decent, I just don't see the Kickstarter actually happening, but overall, if you enjoyed, you know, get the you know the video gameplay, um, you know, definitely recommend trying it out, um, because it might be your cup of tea, 
And overall, uh, if you enjoyed this video, then consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to see more content. New videos come out a bit, about every twice a week, uh, whether it's you know game reviews, gaming news, controversies, you name it. Uh, and if you guys are having a great day today, I hope you continue having a great day. If you guys aren't having a great day, I hope you guys start having a great day. But either way, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. See you guys next time.